so here let us take let us see one numerical problem to understand this what actually the wrap around this one thing see here consider bandwidth of line bandwidth of line is 200 mbps given bandwidth of line is 200 mbps and sequence number field consists 32 bit same like here means if set is it is so 32 bit long sequence number we are using so here asking find out wrap around of sequence number <coughs> now if you see here we have to find out wrap around sequence number here in this case what we have to do he given bandwidth of the line and he given sequence number field how much then we have to find out how much time it will take to generate all the possible sequence numbers 2 raised to 32 sequence numbers to generate how much time it will take we have to find out by using this bandwidth if you see for one second it is transmitting 200 megabits isn't it it is transmitting 200 megabits now if you convert this one in terms of bytes this is in terms of bits so simply 200 by 8 into 10 raised to 6 bytes it is there now if you see here as we mentioned that this is this many bytes it is transmitting in one second and we said that for each byte we given one sequence number and this many bytes of there so in one second it is able to transfer this many sequence numbers or not because for each byte we are giving one sequence number so if you come to here this many sequence numbers it is transmitting in one sequence number one second isn't it now to generate to generate this many sequence numbers it is taking one second to generate 2 raised to 32 sequence numbers how much time it will take this is just ulta let us see here to generate to print 10 books it is taking one day ok assume it will take two days for calculation suppose to generate 50 books how much time it will take simply if you take these things as this is A this is B, this is C. We need this question mark. So this equal to B into C by A. So here, here in this case, this is A, this is A, this is B, and this is C. Simply you see, try to understand not the formula, try to understand the concept here to generate this many sequence numbers it's taken one second to generate 2 raised to 32 sequence numbers how much time it will take? simple so B into C by A we will get that much time it will take to generate this sequence number and last characteristic is simply this is sequence number and acknowledgement are used for authentication. Authentication purpose. This sequence numbers and acknowledgements together we are using for 
authentication purpose. So these are all together this way. These are sequence numbers and the acknowledgement numbers are going to play a key role in this thesis. Because of these things only, we are providing the data. Data we are able, we are able to transmit in a correct order and at the same time it is reaching the destination there because you divided the data when you divided the data you have to combine them accordingly you should not mix suppose one two three packets are there you should not mix two one three or you should not mix one three two you should be combined at the destination site in the same order one two three all these things are possible because of this sequence number and the communication between sender and receiver when packet is registered or not to know this by the sender we are using the acknowledgement number so altogether this is about something about sequence numbers and the acknowledgement number